In this tutorial, we'll give a brief overview of how to use the ParentSquare app. Right now, we're at the home screen. On the bottom, you'll see Messages. This is where you'll go to message your child's teacher or any other staff member you need to talk with. So you can click the search bar, type in a teacher's name. So I'll type in this name. And then, if I've already sent them a text, they'll be right here. If not, it'll list their name and then you can send them a text. On the bottom, you type in your message and you can also attach a picture or a file if you need to. Now it says here it's outside office hours. So this teacher will get back to me when they can. If you click the back button, you'll see all your messages that you've had with any teacher and staff. Back at the bottom, you have alerts this is where any notifications that are really important, like early dismissals, school closure, things like that. The events is your calendar. So anywhere there's a circle means that there's an event coming up. So on the 29th here, we've got meet and greet 1030 to 1130. And if you click on it, you'll get more information. And here you can see that you can like it and you can comment back. Any comments that you made, only the person who made the post will see them, not everybody. Under the More button, you can find your school directory, links that your building thinks is really important, like PowerSchool or emails, things like that. Under Media, you can see all the pictures that your teacher has posted or your school has posted. Under Participate, this is where you'll find things like clubs, sports teams, your bus information, if your child goes to Treehouse, things like that. You can click on the groups and see what groups they're in. If a teacher has you fill out a sign up or an RSVP, that would show up under signups and RSVPs. If you have a permission slip or a form that needs to be filled out, or you've already filled it out, it'll be under forms and permission. Polls would be if you've answered any of the polls, you can go back and see what, out, uh, what answer you gave to a poll. And then volunteer hours is where you can record any hours that you volunteer in your child's school. Now let's go back to the side menu. The side menu is how you bounce around between buildings and classes if you have multiple children. So here I can see jump to a different school if I need to. So I could jump to Fitch High School if I needed to, for example and hit home, and then I would see what's happening at Fitch High. I'm gonna go back to the three lines. If I click district, I can see the post for the whole district, not just one school. At the top, students, of course, it would show my kids. And when you click on it, post would show you any posts from the classes or groups that your child is in, and then the dashboard shows you who, what parents are assigned to this child. Right now, this is the summer, so there's no posts. Jumping down to classes, it would list all the classes that my child has. And I could click on the classes to see what's going on in those classes. Groups, again, this is where you would see your child's bus information, if they're in treehouse, if they're in a club, or if they're on a sports team, you could find them here. So when you click on a group, then we'll pull up information for that group. So right now, it's a summer. There's no bus information right now. Account is where you go to update your contact information, change your notifications, change your language, check to make sure you're logged out of all your devices if you need to. Um, if you're missing a kid or a school, then maybe you have two email addresses and the other child's in a different email account. And then of course you have the sign out button. If you need help with that, email us at the help desk. And then about is if you need to go to the parent square, the full website and help is if you need to call the school or if you're having trouble with parent square, you can submit a ticket and they'll get right back to you. And that is an overview of how to use parent square. If you have more questions, please email us at helpdesk at grotten.k12.ct.us.